Happy weekend, everybody. I hope you're all doing fantastically. Uh, we had some Tempest Trials stuff pop up. So we can finally go take a look at this. Uh, so I have been grinding out my summer units, getting the SP, all that good stuff. Um, but I think it's interesting that we've, we've given, I guess, an origin story to adult summer tiki and the watermelon splitting based on the conversation <laughs> that young summer tiki had with mast marth in the opening line uh, so if you haven't started your tempest trials yet there there you go we now have the origin story of the watermelon axe which is just so good um but for the record if you haven't done tempest trials yet you definitely, definitely, definitely should. Uh, you can see there, Mass to Marth is only 15000 A bargain at any price. Um, but beyond the special awards, which we'll take a look at here, we get a four-star Mass to Marth, so we can upgrade her. Uh, we get lots of orbs and feathers. In fact, we're getting 11,000 feathers and 42 orbs, I believe, in total. If you go the full, uh, the full rung which I would recommend doing because orbs is orbs, fam. Orbs is orbs. Um, beyond that, we're getting HP res for a uh, seal. We're also getting speed ploy. But the big one that I wasn't sure if it got announced yet and I didn't want to spoil it for anybody, flashing blade. We have flashing blade seal now, which uh, if you don't know what that does, I think it's Mia. I think it's Mia's unique A slot skill. Um, if unit speed is greater than or equal to foe's speed plus five, grant special cooldown charge plus one per attack. Whoa. Uh, so Flashing Blade is something that makes Mia really, really strong. Um, and obviously, you know, Flashing Blade Fodder is good. I put one on my Lin uh, just for giggles because I was trying to do a good Lin build. Um, and now we have the Steel. So... Uh, for what it's worth, I would definitely recommend at least doing 20,000 just so you can get that seal. Um, but again, you know, if you finish it out, I don't know if you guys use gems or shards or whatever, but uh, if you hit 50,000 points, you will eventually accumulate 42 orbs and 11,000 feathers, which are always nice to have on hand. Um, so, for the record, do it. <laughs> it's You have, like, I think two weeks... I want to say, like, seven, ten days. I think it's ten days. I think it's ten days. Um, we also had the uh, the Earth map go live today. Because, you know, it's Sunday. And that, those things happen on Sundays. Um, but I think... Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. We had rival domains as well. Those are new. So go get your cavalry on. Um, but beyond all that, beyond Tempest Trials and stuff like that, I wanted to look at the uh, the calendar here. And actually, I can I can make it bigger for you guys. Whoa. Yeah, I'll make it bigger. I'll make it bigger. Here we go. So there you go. Um, the calendar's coming up. Um, we do have a couple things showing their, showing their heads in the 20s of July. But the big question, the big question, I think, and that's, that's ultimately what I want to see from you guys today in the comments. Let me know what your thoughts are because I'm curious... As to what banner you think we're going to be seeing for the new Heroes event on the 20th. Um, and again, that one's going to be, you know, about a 20-day period. So, I'm sure we'll see something interesting. But uh, that type of banner in particular is typically going to be uh, a new standard pool that's added to, you know, the, the summoning pool afterwards and... It's not, it's not like a seasonal thing. The seasonal looks like it's going to be on the 10th of August, which there has been some speculation I've seen in Reddit and stuff like that. Uh, there's a possibility that they're thinking that we might get Performing Arts in August. Um, and then, you know, have the Halloween and, and so on and so forth. But um, I don't know if we're going to get Legendary here. I don't know if that's the case. Um, more than likely, we're getting a Fade Channel update in late July, early August, which might kind of coincide with that special summoning event. So, I don't know. Um, the other thing that I, I, I feel like we're probably going to be seeing Choose Your Legends 2 there, but the other thing is that special summoning events typically don't add to the pool. And... Brave Heroes 
from Choose Your Legends 1, they are in the current summon pool. So, there's a possibility that it is, there's a possibility that it's not. Um, could be, could be early performing arts, we don't know. Um, but what do you guys think we're going to be seeing from the new hero summoning event that's happening on the 20th, which is just a couple days away, honestly. It's very, very soon. Um, I honestly don't know what game it's going to be from. Uh, if I, if I had to take a guess, I'll take a guess. I'm going to say we're getting a Radiant Banner. That's what I think. I think we're going to get a Radiant Banner of some kind. Um, I don't know what it is, but I would be happy if we had some sort of Radiant Banner. Uh, whether it's Path of Radiance, Radiant Dawn, what have you. Um, the other thing is the Legendary Hero Summoning event that's coming up on the 31st. Um, I talked about this in another video, but it's, it's pretty much confirmed based on process of elimination that the new Legendary Hero we're going to be getting this month is a blue unit of some kind. So for what that's worth, it's going to be a blue unit. So my other question is, who do you think we're going to be getting for the Legendary Hero this month? Keep in mind, of course, that they will be a blue unit. We know that because of who else we know is coming back. Uh, and unless they do, like, multiple, <laughs> multiple Legendary Heroes of the same color and the same banner, uh, it's, it's very unlikely that we will not see a new blue Legendary unit. So let me know what you guys think of who that might potentially be. Um, I saw someone in the comments of another video say that they thought it might be Corn, which could be cool. I'd be pretty, uh, I'd be pretty okay with that, honestly. Um, in terms of blue units, man, I, I genuinely don't even know. <laughs> I honestly, I honestly don't know. Um, there, I feel like the blue summon pool is pretty strong already. Um, and I don't know that there's many, like, main title characters, aside from Ephraim, obviously, who already has a legendary alt, uh, that we'd be looking at. Interesting. Um, there is, of course, Micaiah. Micaiah is a, like, a, a blue tome, essentially. Um, and she is, of course, a main title character who could potentially be a legendary hero at some point. Um, but I honestly don't know that that's going to be happening anytime soon. Uh, but maybe, uh, I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are. Because uh, the, the blue, the blue summon pool for legendary heroes of like main title characters and stuff like that, it's pretty... <laughs> I, I feel like it's lacking a little bit, to be honest. Uh, of course, we could get like another colored bow unit. That could be a thing. Uh, because we do have, you know, the red, blue, green colored bows now, which I know we've just, uh, when, when did those get introduced? Like three months ago? And we just got the Lin. Um, I think it was assumed that we'd be getting colored bows like four months back at this point. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I can't think of who I would give a blue, uh, a blue, a blue, blue, a blue bow unit to. Um, aside from that, so it's it's interesting. I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are. As per always, do you think we'll be getting uh, that special heroes event? Do you think we'll be getting performing arts early? It is around the same time. It's close-ish. Uh, the performing arts last year kind of bumped the summer or the the not the summer but the Halloween units a little bit further ahead of schedule, uh, so they weren't really like typically on Halloween, as it were. So, it, there's a possibility that it might be a little bit earlier this year. It could be Choose Your Legends 2. September's always a month as well, so, <laughs> you know. September's going to be here too. October, obviously, would be cool if we actually had Halloween units in October. Um, so, I mean, November and September are also kind of in that range of Choose Your Legends or Performing Arts and all that stuff. Uh, let me know who you think our new Legendary Hero is going to be. That's coming up in about two weeks ish uh and then of course the new summoning event what game i guess do you think we're going to be getting units from uh for that banner because that is only a couple days away and i am pretty confident we'll be getting a trailer for that likely on tuesday i would say tuesday night it'll probably pop up uh, maybe even tomorrow night i don't know but of course we will cover that when it happens uh when the time comes so um yeah let me let me know what your thoughts are on any and all of that in the comments below uh thank you guys for watching i hope you had a fantastic weekend 
get ready for Monday uh, because we are going to have a very eventful week coming up <laughs> not too far down the road here with uh, the Bound Hero Battle that's uh, going to be, I think, Leo and Alicia. And then, of course, the summoning event that's going to be taking place. And the new power summoning focus that's going to have Nephany in it, which is a very good unit to have. Wrath is a very powerful thing. So thank you guys again for watching. That's it from me. Have a fantastic rest of your weekend, and I will catch you next time.